This is fifth grade lesson 90. And you've actually learned this a few weeks ago. It's called reducing fractions. Okay. But this is part two. Okay? So you've kind of already learned this. I kind of already taught it to you in a smaller degree. So help me out here. If I was to take four eighths, do you remember how to reduce that? Can you review to me what reduce means? Okay. Reduce means instead of having eight slices, I want the least amount of slices. Oh, so it'd be like doing the same thing but in a different form? Yes. So it could be like... But I can take and use a number, any number It can life. be... It has one, to be... The, one over two. Yes. It has to be the same number to divide this by. That'll work. So, will this... Can these both be divided by two? Yes. Yes. So let's do that. Remember doing this? Yes. To reduce it. Okay, so 4 divided by 2 is? Uh, be 8. 4 divided by 2. What? 2. 2. So that equals 2. And 8 divided by 2? 4. 4. Okay, 2 fourths. Will that reduce? We have to keep making it until we get the smallest amount of cuts of our pie. Okay. So can 2 and 10 4 divide by 2? Or yes. any other number? Yeah. You can divide by 2. Divided by 2 and divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is? 4. 2 divided by <sighs> 2? 1. 1. This confuses me. I know. 4 is how I'm saying it. 4 divided by 2? 4 um, divided by 2? 4 divided by 2? 2. 2. We finally got it to what you were saying. And you, all, you did it all in your head. Okay, this is the mathematical way of doing it. Okay, now they're wanting you to, te to teach you today how to take four, e four eighths and just take one step to get to one half. Because we took two steps. We made it into two fourths and then into one half. Okay. Like they're just wanting us to go from here to here. So you're going to choose that largest number that you can choose that will go into both four and eight. Like big... Well, what number will go into 4 and what number will go into 8? Four. What number can go four. into 4? And what number can go into 8? That's the highest number that will go into both of them. Yeah. So, we're going to choose 4 instead of 2 both times. So, we're choosing 4. You have to always divide by the same number to reduce. Okay? Okay. Because um, we don't yeah. want to... We want to make it... The same amount on both sides, on both of them. Okay, so four divided by four is four one. Divided by four, yes. Eight divided by four is two. Two. There we go. So just by choosing a larger number to divide by, we only have to do one step. That's what they're wanting to show you today. Okay. We were learning how to do it like this, but it took I two like steps. I like the second way better. Yeah, because it, it's less time. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, but either way, remember this, 4 eighths is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the same thing as 2 fourths, which is the same thing as 1 half. See how they're the same? Yeah. They're just cut differently. And we want to always reduce to the least amount of cuts. That's if what I can do it in my head, do I have to write it out? No. Okay. But eventually they're going to be really hard, the numbers will, as you get older. Yeah. And you won't be able to do them in your head anymore. Chances are. So it's probably good to learn them right now. Yeah. All right, let's try this one. Eight twelfths. Reduce by using the biggest number you can think of. What will go into twelve? Six. And what will go into eight? Would it be six? Close. Eight. Six would go into twelve. Eight. Almost. Six would go into eight. Will eight go into twelve? It's not four, is it? It's four. That's a small number. For I time. know, but that's the biggest number that there is that we'll both go into. Okay. Okay? Got it? And you remember how we could you could find this out, Eli? You could just by, do it by just thinking, or you could have said, what are my factors of 8? 1 times 8, 2 times 4, and then those are my factors of 8. Remember that? Remember mm -hmm. doing factors? What are my factors of 12? One, one times, times 12, twelve. I'm just putting them in order. Two order. times six. Two times six. Um, three times four. One of four. Yeah. Okay, so those are my factors of twelve. Those are my factors of eight. Then I would circle my common factors. 
And what's my greatest common factor? Four. That tells me what to divide this by okay. in the best way. So if you want to do this, you can. Or you can just try to think in your head, what will go, what's the highest number that will go into both of these? Yeah. Or you can do it this way and discover which one's the highest, the greatest. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we said four to reduce this. Now I could have chosen two, but it would make more steps. Uh -huh. We're going to choose four. Okay? Eight divided by four is? Uh, two. And 12 divided by four? Is three? Or is it? Answer is two thirds. Okay? okay? So it's the same equality, but just less cuts. Yeah. In our pie. Got it? Okay. All right, now here's what they say Write 40% as a reduced fraction. Do you remember when you working with frac or working with percent? So it'd be 40 one hundred Over 100. Very good. Now, I want to show you something. There are two ways to do this, okay? What would go into both 40 and 100? That would be... 40. No, that's too high. 40 won't go into 100. Okay. It wouldn't be. I know 50 would if 40 was 50. But... Okay, yes, you would be right. Um, We probably... Let's do greatest common factor. Okay. So, what are the greatest common of 40? 1 times 40. 1 times 40. 10 times 4. 4 times 10. What? 10 times, uh, yeah. That would be 400 if I did the other way. But. Uh, you see how I'm putting them in order already? Yeah. Instead of... Then, uh, 5 times 8. 5 times 8. And one more. That's it. 2 and then, times... 2 times 20. Very good. 2... I didn't quite put them in very good order. Okay? 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Um, What's the factors of 100? 1, 100, 2, and 50. 2 might work. Okay, let's keep going. Then 4 is 1. 4 wouldn't work. 4 wouldn't go into 100. Well, let's try. Four will go into ten two times. Two times four is eight. And then zero four will go into twenty five times. It does work. Twenty five times four, which is four quarters. Twenty five. Four twenty five cents times yeah. four would equal a hundred. That would. Okay, so let's do four and twenty five. Anything else? I know five works. Yeah. So let's do five into a hundred. <laughs> Two. Okay, um, so we did 5 times 2 is 10, so I put that there. I get 0, bring down my 0, 5 will go into 0, 0 times. And that 20. ends up being, so 20 times 5 works. Yes, five it does. times 20. Now, do you see a common denominator? 1, 2, 4, 5, 20, 20. 20. So we should use 20. Good job. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Divided by 20. Divided by 20. Okay. Um, okay. 40 divided by 20. 20 is 20. Two? How many times? Maybe. 2. Good. So this would be 2. Okay. And 100 divided by 20, which we just did, would be. Do you remember what we did? No. Well, let's try it. 20 will go into 10. Oh, what? You're 20. asking. Uh, 20 going to 10. How many 20s? That's a separate 20. problem. 2. two. 40. What? 20 will go into 100. How many 20s do you need to equal 100? 20? Oh. 40? 20, 60, 40, 60, 70, 80, 80. 100. 5. 5. 5 times 20 is 100. Yes. So, 5. 100 divided by 20 is 5. Yes. Final answer? 2 fifths. 2 fifths. Now, the cool thing is you don't have to stress when a number ends in 0. Let me tell you why. You divide by 10 just by crossing out zeros. <laughs> because 40 divided by 10 is how many 10 is equal 40? Uh, 4. 4. So watch what happens. I crossed out my zero. Now I have 4. See? <laughs> you can only do it if the zeros are on the outside. 
Yeah. So now this is four over. Four over two. Very good. Now, can we reduce to four tenths? Um, yes. Yes, what number will go into both four and ten? It's a really small one, actually. This time. One, two, two. two. So this would be 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. five. Still got the same answer. But it was easy. But it was much easier because when you have zeros on the end, it yeah. makes it easier. Okay? You could even do 2. So if it was like 100. If it said 400 over 100. You could cross out both. That would be like dividing by 100. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. But if it said 408 and 100, I couldn't do anything. These zeros can't cross out. Uh, do you see how these are the ending zeros? Yeah. You can only do ending zeros. Got it? Yeah. Okay, let me see if there's anything else we need to do. That is lesson 90.